Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish, and I'm reviewing a, just an absolutely huge call that I made uh, before the open, actually, yesterday morning. Uh, I was so certain, 100% conviction, and really no chance of failure that Apple would run up on the earnings once I saw it on Tuesday morning. Or is it Wednesday morning? Yeah, today's Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. Wednesday morning. <laughs> Anyways, to make a long story short, I put the call out there and I did a video yesterday and I said, you know, if you wanted to get out yesterday, hit through the first target because the first target was 200. And then it got over 201 yesterday. So you could have done it as a day trade for the quick profit. Because you had so much time left in it, you still could have held it through next Friday is the expiration. This, it, I am gonna talk about this in the room this morning. I said, it's at the next target. It was at 204, and I said the next target was 205, and then I said, it's really gonna to get to 207, 208, and it's probably gonna do that by the end of the week, and it's at 207 now, and it's only Thursday, and it's got tomorrow, and you know, it's really totally, totally 100%. Um, everybody's calls that's still in this, if you wanna hold it or not. Could this continue higher? Absolutely, yes. Um, you know, the question is, this is such a huge trade now, do you want to chance it? Do I think this goes up to 210 in the next week? Yeah, probably. So, I mean, for three more points, is it worth it or do you just get out today? Remember, you do lose time value in these. You can't, you can't deny that that is the case. Um, and again, the high today in the option chain was not, it didn't get up to eight. It didn't get up to eight. It didn't quite get up to 750. It was like over 740. I remember the cost of this was around $1.90. Um, this is like a 400% return on investment trade, just like, just like the Facebook. I mean, two absolutely jai mungo calls in the options letter in the last week. And, you know, I know everyone is managing these differently, but this could go for another day. So it's, you know, but this is just such a huge move that it's really completely 100% the money management on you if you want to give any of this back or not, because it will be painful if you do. And the market's an unknown here right now, what it's going to do tomorrow and Friday. So I would say taking the money and running is not a bad idea. If you're feeling gutsy, you could try to hold it up to 210 and beyond this actually could get to the dream target within a week and i don't even know if anyone would even even hold it to that point but apple was clearly a buy and this is a great example of how the fact that my system can be used for longs or shorts and i'm just as good at calling bullish gaps as i am at calling bearish gaps because i'm really good at spotting weakness and that has allowed me to see strength as well which was an apple and it was an apple and it wasn't a gap and i did say yesterday as well this was on its own because this was falling yesterday and i still said trade's good and it was falling yesterday. It fell for the first 15, 20 minutes yesterday in the morning. That's how the tail was formed. And and so I am so happy that everybody did this. This is just fantastic. And um, I'm gonna share a story about this later, but one of the gentlemen that signed up for the options letter just recently is blind and he did this trade. And you know, it just goes to show, you know, you know, if you um, learn what to do and, 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 and trust the system and trust the program you can make money you know even 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 if you're blind and he gets the letters and he does the trades and I'm very proud of him he did well and um, I hope that everybody did this you know uh, so I'll have to take a survey how everybody did on the letter again if you got out yesterday you don't kick yourself the prof there was profit there yesterday so I just think that um, rating the gaps helps, okay? It definitely, definitely helps. It helps you see the quality of the gap, the rating, the number. Because remember, the 26 points is there, but it's 20 or more, but not every gap is equal. I mean, it's just not the case. Even if I call it trade, some gaps rate higher than others in the trades that I call. And, and that is something that you gotta be aware of. So congratulations to everyone that did it. And uh, if you want to sign up for the options letter, send me an email. It's three grand for the year. Uh, congratulations to everyone, especially Brian. And uh, have a great day, everyone. And good luck if you if you want to stick it out. Yeah, good luck if you want to try to put get one more push in it. It, it very well could get there.